Hello everyone, how are we here? Today I'm very excited to share with you a Nomos Glashute Club Campus 38mm watch. So I actually met the owner of this watch on the train back from work and I saw the color uh, right away and I noticed it's a Nomos so we started talking and uh, here we go uh, doing a quick review. So I really appreciate uh, the opportunity to uh, take a look at this watch. Um, Nomos, I think it's not new to a lot of the friends. Um, you know, it's actually a, even though it's only has a 34 year history, I think in the last few years it's got really popular, uh, at least in the US, because of the design language, right? It's very, the, the design language is simplicity and the function. Um, it may or may not be a great fit for everyone, but I feel like this club campus, you know, this model series is probably, uh, a more popular model for most folks. Um, if you take a quick look, number one is you catch by the color, right? This blue, uh, green, electric green color, it's just different from any other green. It's not super dark, uh, the deep green, or it's not super uh, light. So I was chatting with the owner, you know, what made him decide to purchase this watch? Uh, number one, he was just looking for a green dial, and he tried a different, you know, uh, different green dials, including the Oris, Kermit, uh, a few other different colors, you know, also considering the budget, and this one just came out to be the best choice. Uh, some basic stats, you know, it's a 38.5 millimeter case, 8.5 millimeter thing. It's very light and uh, thin watch, so I think it's gonna fit a uh, small wrist like mine really well. Lug to lug, it's 48.9 because you can see the lug does extend out a little bit more than most watches of the 38 millimeter case size and the lug width is 20. So the watch actually came with the original suede, you know, leatherish uh, band uh, because, you know, uh, the, the rain and some other reasons um, uh, the original band was basically, you know, doesn't look too good anymore. So the owner replaced with a fabric, which I think it looks great. The light, uh, light gray fabric with a light green dial. So this style, I would say it's the reverse California uh, design. You know, the California dial is basically, they have the uh, Arabic numbers at the bottom half than the roman numerals on top i think this is a better design just because when you look at the number uh four and the number eight i feel like they're more heavy in terms of how many digits so put that at the bottom of the dial makes the weight feels a little bit better um i mean the california dial is kind of cool you know you, you have a little bit mix of the two different type of numbers and it just creates a little bit more uh interesting uh you know, conversation piece as well. Uh, if you notice, the design is ultra simple. You got the index and the, the numbers on top, then just the Roman numerals at the bottom with the orange sub dial second hand. You know, that keeps the watch really thin. And obviously this one, it's, uh, it's a manual wind, so it does make the watch a little bit thinner as well. Uh, overall, this is the reference 726. So, you know, if you look at the reference, that means it's the model number of this, uh, the particular color. And the caliber, it's the in-house alpha. So it's a manual wind. You gotta uh, wind up every other day or every day or so, because the power reserve is only 43 hours. Uh, 17 joules, it, uh, the frequency is 21,600 beats per hour. Overall, it's a stainless steel case. Uh, it doesn't really have a bezel, so we have a very small, Dome sapphire crystal glass. Very simple and elegant. I think that's kind of the language that Nomos used for this particular club series. It's the sporty and the vibrant because they have a lot of other really bright colors, you know, uh, orange, red, uh, a few others. And I think this light green or electric uh, electric green, uh, it's, a great, it's a great sweet spot because you know, people buy these watch, you want to wear it every day to work as well as the weekend. I personally feel some of those extreme colors like orange or, you know, red, you know, might be a little bit too much for work, uh, even though it's great for, uh, you know, the weekends and beach days. Um, 
So the official numbers in terms of accuracy of the watch is 10 seconds deviation. Uh, but I think overall this watch, uh, the owner bought it last year, has been pretty accurate. Um, and a few other details on the watch. If you look at the outside of the, on the mini track, there is a small 5, 10, 15 uh, inside the mini track, which makes it a little bit more sporty. Again, the design is very simple. Normals, Glashute at the bottom, just made in Germany. Obviously, Normals uh, is a German made watch, and the Glashute is the watch, you know, mecca of German watchmaking. So this one also comes with a 36 millimeters. Uh, this is 38.5. I think 38.5 is a good sweet spot for a lot of the small to mid-sized wrist. Again, take a look at the in terms of the material color. Mostly, you know, on the direct view is polished, sort of the polished case, polished shoulder. The side is also polished. Um, the back case, it's very simple polished material and it's very simple it says campus 10 atm obviously it's 100 meters it's good for and it says club it's good for swimming uh, nothing too fancy but again look how thin the watch is 8.5 millimeters it's just extremely impressive also because of the size and how thin it is uh plus it doesn't have the metal bracelet the watch is ultra light uh, about 62 grams or 2.2 ounces i mean that is Perhaps one of the lightest uh, watches in terms of the weight I've uh, reviewed. Um, as I said earlier, the owner replaced the original suede band with a, like a fabric. I think it looks great. And you can wash the fabric pretty easily. Here's a look on the crown. Um, I think it says Nomos on the crown. Just a, I think it's just a push pull. Uh, it's not a screw down, but for regular everyday use, 100 meter water resistance is more than sufficient. Uh, one thing though, I mean the color on the video, I mean the camera is never going to capture these colors 100%. Uh, the actual color looks a little bit darker than uh, my right now the indoor lighting. So I will go out, uh, show you the color of the watch uh, under the sunlight a little bit later on. But for now, just to point that out, the actual color is slightly darker than what we've seen on the video here. All right, Nomos Club Campus 38 on my wrist. My wrist is six and a half inches, 16.5 centimeters. Man, this watch is light. Uh, I don't feel too much weight at all. I mean, my normal watch I wear, I have a 36 OP, that's about 120 grams, and some of the heavier watches in 160 grams. For me, like a sweet spot is between 120 to 150 in terms of weight, not too heavy. But this is really light. I mean, it's awesome, 62 grams. And because it's really thin, I mean, it hugs the wrist really well. So lug to lug, as I mentioned, the 48.9 is, you know, slightly larger than some of the 36 millimeter watches I have. But there's still plenty of extra space between the end of the lug to the edge of my wrist. Like on the top here, at least 12 millimeters. At the bottom, I would say at least uh, two or three. But overall, man, again, you know, I said this in my uh, review pretty much uh, every time. Even if I wear a 40 or 40 and a half, as long as the lug to lug is not too crazy and the thickness of the watch is not too high. It's perfectly fine, right? This one, 8.5, just looks so good. Feels so good too. Because my wrist shape is more of a, it's not a round shape. Even though it's six and a half inch, 16.5 cent, it's more of a flat looking wrist. So for a thinner watch, it just looks so nice. Um, if the 38.5, you feel a little bit too big, then they have the 36 millimeter options as well. Take a look at the fabric band here. Man, what a great combination of colors. Light beige and electric green for, especially right now, summertime, man. It just looks awesome. It just looks beautiful. So pricing-wise, I think, you know, Nomos generally make watches 
in the fifteen hundred dollars to four thousand dollar range, which is a you know it's a nice sweet spot. It's a, it's a nice watch. So this particular one for thirty eight millimeter or thirty eight point five to be exact is sixteen hundred fifty one six five zero dollars. Thirty six millimeters fifteen, and I think you know that price range for this kind of quality and design, it's reasonable. Um, it's not like super outrageous price. So it's really, I think it's a good sort of, uh, you know, the normal website also said, welcome to the club or first timer. You know, if you're looking at to en enter this, you know, entry level luxury watch space, you know, 1650, it's sort of a still approachable number. It's not like crazy. Uh, it's doable for sure. All right, I'm outside on the bright sun right now. Just try to take a shot of the color. I don't know if you can see well, but on my camera, it looks really bright. Here's the electric green. Beautiful color. I'm going to step back into the shade. reflecting quite a bit of the background here but hopefully you can see the color a more natural color outdoor beautiful very beautiful color all right this is the nomos club campus 38 thanks for watching i'll see you next time